again. I'd like to remind you all that we audio and video record our meetings and they are available live streaming. So if you want to go back and recap and see what you might have missed, um, it's available. To our board members, I ask that you please remember to push the button on your microphone when you have something to say on the record and then push it when you're finished. We have a limited number of active mics at any given time, so please remember to turn off your mic when you're finished. With that, I will turn it over to Thank you. Planning Administrative Chairman Fuentes. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. I'd like to call the Planning and Administrative Committee to order. Secretary, please call roll. Director Durrani? Here. Director Frega? Here. Director Hobson? Here. Director Pang? Here. Director Ross? Here. Director Totten? Here. Director Fuentes? Here. We have a quorum of seven present with no absent. If the record would also show that directors Buchanan, Colson, DeWitt, Lewis, McGallis, Melvin, Triani, and Chair Dillard are all also present. Thank you. Next is the approval of the minutes from the meeting held on June 25th. Are there any questions or comments? Hearing none, could I have a motion and a second? Motion. motion. Second. Moved by who and who, please? Break and Duran. Thank you very much. Okay. How about so, a roll call? Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> Secretary, please call roll. Director Durrani? Aye. Director Frega? Aye. Director Hobson? Aye. Director Pang? Aye. Director Ross? Aye. Director Totten? Aye. Director Fuentes? Aye. Seven ayes. Next is an update on the regional consumer marketing campaign, Jessica. Thank you, Director. Uh, Thank we're you. excited to give you an update on the regional consumer marketing program today. I'm going to invite Mark Miner, the, the manager of regional uh, projects, up to do that. So, with that, Mark. Thank you, Jessica. And thank you, Directors. Today, I'll be updating the board on the Ride On regional marketing campaign, which launched in January of this year. Just a reminder, the campaign was built on the premise that CTA, Metro, and Pace do more than simply get you from point A to point B. They help you maximize your lifestyle by saving you time, money, even peace of mind. The campaign's primary targets are occasional riders, visitors, tourists, and reverse commuters. And the objectives of the campaign are to increase awareness, improve perception, and grow ridership. I'm happy to report that the campaign continues to make progress in achieving these objectives. First, I want to talk about the performance of our advertising. A major focus of our media buying strategy in 2015 is to take advantage of digital advertising. Our ads are running as digital displays on various websites, Facebook, and as pre-roll video. In total, our digital advertising has delivered over 58 million impressions through early August. The click-through rates for our digital display ads are exceeding our targets significantly, and costs have come in lower than anticipated. The call to action on our digital advertising is for consumers to visit the RTA Trip Planner. These ads have generated over 1.3 million conversions or occasions where customers have used the RTA Trip Planner to plan their trip, get real-time information, or view a transit schedule. Trip Planner usage through the second quarter of 2015 has featured 13% more sessions, more visits, and 8% more unique visitors than the same period last year. We are also advertising on cable TV and radio as part of this campaign. In the second quarter, we ran almost 1,700 cable TV ads on a wide array of networks at various times of the day and week. We also sponsored traffic, weather, news, and sports reports on a mix of radio stations that delivered 6% more gross rating points than we expected. Ride-on ads are also displayed on digital street-level billboards in downtown Chicago, neighborhood billboards within the city of Chicago, and on highway billboards throughout the city and the suburbs. Combined, the billboard advertisement advertisements have garnered over 14 million impressions between April and June of this year, over-delivering estimates by 33%. Additionally, this summer we utilize street teams to engage with customers out and about. Over three five-day activations, the street teams engage more than 75,000 consumers showing them how to use the RTA trip planner on tablets, encouraging them to use transit for their summer travel, and passing out maps and other promotional items. Another tactic we used this spring and summer was, full, was a full-page color advertisement in Choose Chicago's Visitor Guide. The guide is distributed across the greater Midwest and is available at major attractions and hotels across the Chicago region. Visitors to Chicago can also request a guide be mailed to them or can download for them for free from Choose Chicago's website. 
we received a great position in the visitor's guide on a right side page towards the front of the publication on page 9. The circulation of this spring and summer visitor's guide is 360,000. As you can see, the tactics we are employing have met or exceeded targets in terms of generating impressions and cost effectiveness. We are also watching the progress of the campaign in terms of meeting the objectives of increasing awareness, improving perception, and growing ridership. As shown in the diagram on the screen, we anticipate seeing progress on each objective at different stages along the way. As you may recall, last fall we conducted a research initiative to establish baselines for a variety of metrics related to achieving the campaign objectives. This June, we conducted another research effort, which provided the first data to compare against the baselines. The findings I will now discuss with you today come from the surveys conducted when we had been in market for less than six months. So we would only expect to see at this point that customers are recognizing the campaign and linking it back to the transit agencies. I am pleased to report that 38% of survey respondents recognize the campaign elements exceeding the norm for this type of campaign, which is only 34%. Of the respondents who recognized the campaign, well over half were able to link the campaign back to RTA and its service boards. The recognition and attribution levels for each platform, digital, outdoor, radio, and TV, are healthy and in line with expectations based on the allocation of our media spending. Brand awareness levels are healthy and stable as compared to last fall. The levels of brand awareness clearly indicate that, not surprisingly, residents are very familiar with transit and our service boards. The data also shows that perceptions of Metro and PACE are improving. Compared to the results of last fall's benchmarking research, Metro is perceived better in regards to family friendliness, being great for trips outside of the daily routine, offering value, helping make the most of riders' time, and going where people want to go. PACE is perceived better in offering value and offering great customer service as compared to uh, last fall. The perceptions of RTA and CTA are stable. As part of the survey, we also asked respondents who were aware of the public transit agencies, which was over 95% of all respondents, if they had ridden one or more of the service boards in the past three months. Over 40% of respondents indicated that they rode CTA in recent months, and over 33% responded likewise for Metro, numbers that are consistent with the benchmark results from last fall. Additionally, we asked the 38% of respondents who recognized the campaign, so a subset of our overall survey respondents, what actions they had taken as a result of seeing the advertising. Over one quarter of these campaign recognizers self-reported having ridden CTA or Metro more often as a result of the commercials. Additionally, campaign recognizers appear to be utilizing the transit agency websites more frequently according to the self-reported data. As we move towards the fall and winter, we are in the process of refreshing the digital and out-of-home ads to keep the campaign from becoming stale. We are also continuing to monitor the performance of the campaign and progress on meeting the campaign objectives. We will conduct our next round of research, of brand tracking research this fall, and I look forward to sharing the, those results with the board in the winter. Additionally, we are beginning the process of planning for 2016, including looking at what markets we want to target, developing a media buying plan, and identifying any ad production needs we may have moving forward. Before I finish, I would like to acknowledge Nicole Berry, RTA's marketing manager, for her work on this campaign, as well as the marketing and communication staffs at the RTA, CTA, Metro, and PACE for their continued cooperation and support. With that, I'm happy to answer any questions and ride on. Thank you. Uh, any questions or comments? I have a question. Do you have any analytics yet on the click-through rate from digital ads, either from the Choose or the RTA websites or the service board websites? Yeah, we uh, to so the service board. On our from our ads that are on variety of websites, uh, our click-through rates are adver are about 0.16 percent. Industry average is 0.09 percent, so we're significantly exceeding that. And our Facebook is actually uh, click-throughs from Facebook ads are the last few weeks have been over 0.3 percent, which is significantly higher than uh, what is typical through Facebook. Are you using Twitter as well? Uh, we are not, right at this point, doing paid advertisement through Twitter. So that is something yeah, But we, just we even, use. like, tweeting out some of the, the, oh, yeah. the click-throughs to the sites and... We are, we are... But not as part of this, right? Well, we utilize some of this, some of the ride-on campaign in our, um, 
in our actual social media, yeah. uh, not paid advertising, okay. but our social media right. tweets and, and Facebook posts. Um, and actually, over the last year and a half, we've over doubled our following right. on both Facebook and Twitter. So, That's uh, good. And, and a lot of those uh, posts and tweets are getting uh, are being shared uh, and um, or liked, and we're getting a lot of people. Uh, and, and our paid Facebook ads are actually helping us gain page likes on Facebook as well. That's great. And it helps when our chairman's tweeting out that he's That's writing the 151. That's a big deal, actually. Or I'm using my Metra, yeah. Metra app to pay for my ticket on the train. Features my kids a lot. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Director Hobson? Yeah, I have uh, two points. One, uh, back on page nine, um, the brand awareness. All, all three service boards, CTA, Metra, and PACE, show a decline in brand awareness from November of uh, 14 to June of 15. Do you have any thoughts or explanation for why that might be? You know, actually, it is a slight decline, but within what our, our research partners uh, who are working with us, they it's not a it's not statistically significant. We are using a small sample, so statistically speaking, it's it's actually stable. So um, oh. Oh. it's it's within the margin of error for a 95 percent confidence level. Okay, thank you for that explanation. And then uh, secondly. I, I think the, uh, the performance that you're getting is great and the better than expected metri metrics uh, are great. Um, I, I'd just like to say ultimately, uh, for me, I wanna see it tied back to increase in ridership. And I know that's a plan, I just wanna keep reminding you that that's really what I'm looking for in terms of the performance of this particular program. Sure. Thank you. Director Clausen. Um, I know. Uh, CTA Metro and Pace also do their own advertising, don't they? And they do uh, some. CTA actually, they don't do any paid advertising. Any advertisement they do is within their system and it's limited. Um, we are working closely with them and, and really where we're going for is our campaign is the general ridership campaign. A lot of the campaigns that CTA Metro and Pace do <laughs> are either public awareness campaigns and like CTA did the uh, courtesy campaign. It's not really a ridership campaign. And PACE is really focusing most of their advertising on specific services, whether it be bus on shoulder or um, ride share, van pool. That's where they spend a lot of their money. And Metra is uh, also uh, where they do a lot of their advertising is on uh, you know, the 10 ride pass, things along those lines. So we, we work very closely with them and they're, they're supportive of this campaign. And we see this as complementary and supplementary to what they do, not as duplicative. Okay, that was my point. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, I just like to say about segmented marketing uh, for 16. Are we looking at maybe increasing it, or what? What, what uh, type of plan do you have for that? Right now, we're working on the plan for 2016. Um, you know, as I talked about, we the target markets for this campaign from the get-go were, were visitors, tourists, uh, occasional riders, and reverse commuters. In 2015, we focused um, significantly on the occasional riders and the and the uh, tourists and visitors. Um, we will be looking at 2016 at, at while continuing that, also incorporating uh, uh, reverse commuters more directly as well as uh, some older adults uh, in the uh, marketing. So we are going to be segmenting, looking at different segments. Those are, uh, you know, we want to get it up and running. Those are a little harder segments okay. to, to crack. And, and, and we, so we thought going to the broader brand, get the brand awareness out there, and then we can really move forward and segment as we move uh, into the next year of the campaign. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's that. Next, um, if there's no more further business to come before the public session of the Planning and Administrative Committee, can I entertain a motion and second to adjourn? So moved Director Hobson, seconded by Director Pang. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>